Friday once again, uh, it's the week after I had the big girls, Friday the 13th, uh, finally came down from buzzing, I was buzzing all week, really nice fish to catch. Um, I'm back in the bay for this week, I've turned up, the lake's absolutely full, um, but I've turned up into the bay, wasn't expecting this swim to be free, uh, and there's probably around about 40 fish out there milling around when I first got here, so I've just same as last week, just cast a few single hook baits out there. Um, I've got two out in front of here and one in the corner because I've got two nets for me, so I'll spread the rods around a little bit. Um, so, yeah, just waiting for a quick bite really. I've just put the singles out, the same as last week, as I say. Uh, so, let's take it from there. We walk down this little path. Here's the actual very corner of the bay. If you remember a couple of episodes back, slipped a few rods in here one Sunday afternoon. And I'm just going for the one rod in here this time. Got it super slack. Just cast one around about halfway. Felt for the drop because there is a bit of weed getting up in here now. Um, again I got up the tree and there must have been probably 10, 10 to 15 fish just sitting under the surface um, so yeah it's looking good when I do find fish in here 9 times out of 10 it will produce a pick up before they decide to move out um, in saying that the bay has had a lot of pressure over the last few weeks there's a lot of anglers taking interest in the bay Whereas in previous years I've, I've pretty much had pick of the uh, pick of the time to get in here, um, but there has been people getting in. There's a lot of new members and they're all they're all finding the fish in here and having a go for them. So the fish have already had a little bit of a hammering. Um, whether that's going to affect the results of this weekend, I know there's a, a guy in here last week. He had a couple up to 31. Um, Apart from that, I'm just keeping it simple as to how I normally fish it. Not a lot of bait going in uh, for the main fact that with the swan that nests just to the left in, in the middle of these reeds and the coots that get in here, any amount of bait larger than a small uh, stocking PVA bag, you just get pestered by the swan because it's no more than 18 inches deep. So what I've done is just just cast a single for now, not even a bag in the hope of just trying to pick one up really quickly really it's now Saturday morning no joy through the night I was getting some vicious liners as it was getting dark as the fish were coming out of the bay which is always the case in this swim it is predominantly a day swim, the fish do get out back into the main body of water during the night. But the sun's back out so hopefully, as long as they didn't, uh, didn't get too weary of my lines, they should be coming back in here today. On the odd occasion as fish are leaving, if they do sense that their line's about, they don't come back for a day or two so um, I'm just going to have to wait and see. A couple more hours and I'll be up the tree and, and searching around to see if there's any any sign of carp. But in all honesty, there's that many people on the lake this weekend. There's no other alternative but to sit in here anyway.
Now Sunday morning, it's 5.30 a.m. Didn't think it was going to be happening this week. It hasn't been happening around the lake at all. Uh, and out the blue, the right hand rods away. Well happy with this one, 19 pound five. Well, the lake hasn't been producing as it has been the last few weeks. It really has uh, got in a strop this week. I think there might have been two maybe three fish out all weekend um, but at least I did manage that one common so it beats a blank shows I'm still getting a few things right which is nice so there's only a few hours left now just waiting for the things to dry and we'll get home and get everything ready for next week